Alrighty then, welcome back to a, another episode of Apparently I Know Nothing. And because <laughs> I know nothing, I started this project without filming. Like I said, apparently I know nothing. Obviously we've got some dimensions measured out here. And uh, you know, apparently I know nothing. So we're just winging this thing. It was gonna be for pint size glasses for beer drinking, but I don't have a Forstner bit large enough. So we're gonna have to go with shot glasses. This is for a gift anyways, and they're big drinkers. And well, I'm sure they'll get plenty of use out of this. Uh, I don't have any shot glasses because I don't drink like that. Um, but uh, I found these at the craft store, so we're using these as the measurement. And well, because apparently I know nothing, I just want to make sure that it has a little bit of room for the glass to move around, right? So we're going to have these basically set up just like so. Okay. And of course, you know, we can't do a project without burning it. So after we get this thing drilled out, looking nice, we're gonna go ahead and uh, add our sweet little custom touches. Oh yeah. So let's get these here, breakable glasses, candle thingamabobbers out of the way. Grab this thing. And let's see, this is the bit that I chose to use. This size is one and three quarters. If you can see that, I hope so. Yeah. And again, just to double check, it's a little bit larger than the uh, than the base of the glass. And that's exactly what I want, right? Give the glass a little bit of wiggle room. We don't want it really snug, especially, you know, it doesn't need to be snug. So, let's go ahead and uh, get this done. I don't know if that's a good angle for you. Let's see if we can change the angle. All right, that there should be a good enough angle for you. And, uh, well, I can't see what's going on there, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it's all right. I'll take another peek at the, this should be all right now. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. But, you know, like the channel name, so apparently I know nothing. So you got this little point here. From what I gather, you just kind of stick it where you want the middle to be. I'm going to start carving some of this off. I actually went as deep as the blade here, which is uh, which is pretty deep, <laughs> pretty deep. And look at that, that should be nice. That's just the right amount of room. I like it. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can't see anything. Oh, come on. have those little holes there at the bottom but that'll be okay that yeah yeah apparently we know nothing I just feel like burning the back of it first
don't know about you all. Maybe you got as hot as my phone did. My phone feels like it's still on fire, but look at this gator char. That looks good. We're gonna let it cool down for a little bit, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna clean her up. Now, we gotta get down and dirty. Hopefully, the battery has enough juice to clean this thing up. While the battery's charging, remember when I said that this is a dirty job, this part? Look at all this mess. I mean, that is just crazy. Yeah, you don't want to be inhaling that stuff. But, uh, so, I'm going to let the battery charge. You can see how dirty it is. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some compressed air, clean this area off. I got sick of waiting for the battery, so you can do this by hand takes a lot longer well, this with the uh, little brass bronze bristles it's gonna leave little grooves all over this thing a little bit more than what would normally be there but that's kind of the look we're going for a little bit of rustic a little bit of imperfection a little bit of grooveness. Look at that. Look how pretty she is. Wow. Wow. Yeah, she's looking good. I love working the wood. Get your mind out of gutter, people. I'm talking about the wood right here. I don't know what you're thinking about. Battery gets charged up. We'll hit it again with this here wheel. I love this thing. This thing is uh, absolutely phenomenal. It is, what is this thing called? Can you pronounce that? Nylox, Nylox, Nylox. This is a gray brush. They've got different grits or, you know, different uh, sniff, stiffnesses. There's an orange one, a blue one I went with gray because one of my favorite YouTubers uses the gray one. Get the sides a little bit here. I always like to go with the grooves, but who knows if that's right or not because apparently I know nothing. I like the way this looks. I don't really want to mess it up so we're only focusing on really hitting this top surface getting these ridges looking really good you know what I mean look at that look at that see those ridges that's what I like man that feels good man I wish you could just feel this wood I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Doesn't happen very often because, you know, apparently I know nothing. So we're going to start here on the back.
Street. You don't have to be perfect all the time. 